I'm Billy Harris, you're hanging with Harris. I'm with the one and only Chris Cosentino at Encanto in San Francisco. Chris, how are you? I'm great. But tell me about Encanto. Tell me about the philosophy, the food. We are a full whole animal ethic restaurant, meaning that um, we get in whole, whole pigs, whole lambs, whole goats. Fortunately, I don't have a big enough walk-in for a whole cow, but... But you uh, would if you could. I would if I could. Nose to tail. Yeah, everything. We use every bit. Um, Every bit of the animal has to offer, we will serve in the restaurant. Sure. And this is not about fear factor. This is about celebrating the whole animal for what it is. Right. Um, all these cuts have different flavors, textures, and nuances that have kind of been forgotten over the years. And, it, and it's really, the whole goal is to keep reintroducing history is all it is. Sure. It also, there is a bit of a fear factor of people when they kind of don't know what they're eating, right? Yeah. You're trying to open their minds to that a little bit There's definitely well, the too. unknown. There's the unknown. People want to, you know, everybody is more comfortable with it coming in a styrofoam package, right. those cuts of meat that they're very used to. Um, we definitely do a, a whole slew of things that people have never seen before, but that's maybe, maybe 15% of our menu. The rest of the menu is things that people have seen. Straightforward that they know. Yeah, they're very comfortable with. So it's about re-educating of what's just been taken away. I mean, this is all historical food. I'm not reinventing the wheel. Sure. I'm not creating anything new. I'm just bringing it back from the dead. People have been eating brains. They've been eating heart. They've been oh, yeah. eating tripe. They've been eating all that other awful, awful fall yeah, the, off. Well, the translation, exactly. It means to fall off or off fall sure. from the carcass, also known as the fifth quarter or the quinto quarto. Uh, four quarters the to an animal quarto, like and the fifth quarter being what the butchers would call it. We, the U.S., are the only culture that doesn't embrace these cuts of meat. Right. Every other part of the world. They do. It's every single day. It's an norm. So it's a reintroduction thing. What we're seeing is definitely the, the grab on, and people are really, oh, this is a better tasting cut than I thought it was, or texturally it's not what I expected. And for me, that's the goal. If I can have one person a, a day really enjoy it, then I've done yeah, my job. And they come into a conto and get a completely new experience because they can have the familiar, but go off the beaten path a little bit exactly. and be totally surprised and blown out of the water. Exactly. Speaking of surprise and being blown out of the water, what are we going to do here in the kitchen? We're so. From Encanto came a project called Boccalone. Boccalone translates to big mouth. That's me. We've taken what started originally here of me making mortadella and everything in house. Sure. And then we've moved out of this restaurant. We now have a USDA production facility. And we're producing, like in I Oakland. said, in Oakland, 24 plus different products. And sausage, cured being salamis, uh, capicolo, lonza. Amazing. This one is our newest. What do we got? This is called Lardo. I thought Lard that was just a big thing of cream cheese. We were going to do a little uh, bagel or schmear and lox. Maybe, if you're lucky. This would actually be great on a bagel. This would be great on a bagel. It would be great. So this is a hunk of lardo? Yes. Yeah, so what we've done is... What does that mean for anyone who doesn't know what a hunk lardo, of lardo is? The translation for lardo is back fat, cured back fat. It is um, from Colonata. What they would do is the, the uh, marble miners would sure. take and make sandwiches. What they do is they take all these big slabs of marble, make boxes. They would salt the back fat, and it would be pressed. Back fat like back fat Like of back fat oinker. on the pig. So this is the back fat from Iberico de Bellota, which is the Spanish Iberico ham. Classically, this would be spread on, uh, they would slice it very thinly, sure. put it on grilled bread. And that's and, just... And it would just melt in, and it would be a really lovely lunch. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to serve it with some fresh strawberries. That's a really good strawberry. Yeah, see? Mm. Now, this variety is um, Seascape. And uh, they're down in Watsonville. It's an organic farmer that I work with. And these are some of our herbs that we're going to use that are from the roof. Can't be too thick. Yep. So we have perfectly sliced lardo. Super thin. Yep. Very clean. It's, it's snow white. It is snow white. Okay. It's funny. It almost looks like a sashimi right now. It's sliced so thin. Yeah, exactly. So we're just going to lightly yep. take these. They want to fall. They want to stick to each other. That's just beautiful. Hot. Look at that. Yeah, it's great. You just... We're going to accentuate the fruit now. So we've, we're allowing the fruit, the acidity, the sweetness to come through. Sure. You have the rich, fatty back fat, which yeah, but melts. It's, it, yeah, it just melts. People go, oh, it's so fat. And, and you know disgusting. that pork fat's better for you than butter. It's better for you than olive oil. It sounds good to me, and it's delicious. And this doesn't need salt or olive oil. Doesn't uh, need... I put a little black can pepper. You, you can, okay. Just a wisp, and then... This way, you have some balance to it. Just trim them. Wow. Grinding a little fresh black pepper. Oh, little it is spritz fresh. on top. It doesn't need to be rocket science to make nice food. 
Come to Encanto in San Francisco. We're right here on Duncan and Church Street, one of the best meals you ever have. You have great dishes like this. Thanks again, Chris. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Cheers. I'm one big commercial. Let's go to the back fest.